family welcome back to the channel is the fin with wanted opportunities yes today i have this university in canada so this university is located in nova scotia nova scotia is closer to new brunswick uh, province edward island also closer to the state of maine in the united states so i'm going to share with you the opportunity in this university is the good university i can tell because it has scholarship, full scholarship, guys. As we all know, getting visa at Canadian Embassy is very, very hard, and I understand because they, they want to understand if you will be able to pay your school fees, your tuition fees, and everything. But guys, even if you give them the uh, this bank statement, they might doubt it. So now it's a good opportunity for you to start looking for opportunities, scholarship in Canada. Yes, there is this kind of universities. Let me share my screen and show you this university. The university name is acadia university so they have this great opportunity for international students yes they need people all right so but guys it's all about the information so let me drive into the video i'll share my screen and show you every information that you need to know about this university let me let you know that the school fees the application fee is only 40 dollar application fees is only 40 dollar guys to get your um your scholarship to get your spot everything covered guys only 40 dollars so why not can't you try this opportunity here on this university in nova scotia so as you all know there is so much opportunities in the province of nova scotia regarding of um work permit yes resident permit is available in nova scotia after one year of studying in this kind of university so let me share my screen and show you that okay as you can see on your screen this is acadia university yes as i said it's located closer to new brunswick it's located in the province of nova scotia yes closer to the province edward island also closer to the united states in the state of maine so now this is the name of university acadia university and let's navigate together and see how you can actually uh, start your application this is the first thing they will ask you to choose the program of course you will choose the program let's say you are looking for uh let's see the popular things sometimes people want let's say if you want environmental science uh computer science business administration all right let's choose business administration you will see so many things there is a, a four years program if you are looking for business administration so there is so many information out here all right and here they ask you what are your requirements and fees what are the requirements and fees you have to say you are from let's say rwanda maybe if you are from which country whatever country you are from and then high school let's say you are international budget students all right here there is your admission requirement find your admission to acadia university english program they have english program of course the tuition fees is twenty thousand canadian dollar and the technology fee 500 and so many things they have so many fees which total make it to twenty three thousand canadian dollar all right so but guys before you go there you have to see your admission requirement you have to click here admission requirements and you will see how to apply when and what you need to apply so when to apply you apply to acadia anytime after october 1st which means right now as i make this video you are able to apply however you need to apply by march 1st if you want to consider the entrance scholarship it's clearly stated that the scholarship is available to people who are applying before march 1st yes if you are looking to study in this university 2024 of course this is a good time for you to start your application it's after october and also it's before march 1st okay if you are selected to receive the interest interest scholarship we will notify you by middle april all right as you can see it's clearly stated that there is opportunity of scholarship all right let's see the eligibility of those scholarship and so forth so what you will need you will need to give only 40 canadian dollar only 40 canadian dollar to process your application which you can buy online with your credit card of course 
official transcript from your education institution you attended also official language test before you go about english tests and everything let me give you information about that because many people face that challenge or oh, i have started in english or oh, why am i going to take ielts again and again and again but guys apply on on this university it takes only 15 minutes you can come back to the application at any time if you feel like you you can do just today and come back tomorrow to finish your application you don't have to finish uh, at once okay your application must be including the official copy of high school transcript and other record of academic works such as um, of course if you have attended this university of course you need to give that and so forth again this is the address of university so the transcript information all of them are here and then transferring another school there is information about people who are transferring yes there is admission guideline for student from rwanda this is like a case study i just picked people from rwanda certificate of humanitarian general you have to submit that uh let's say equipment requirement for business administration this is the english so let's see the english requirement here they state that is people from rwanda this is a case study you can pick your country let's say nigeria angora you know anywhere guys okay so i picked rwanda because this is the country where some people have french background so this is why i say okay let me pick rwanda so that many countries are still doubting that rwanda putting them in non-english speaking so that is the only reason here they say since english is the language of institution at acadia university you must be able to communicate completely in english both oral and writing of course if your first language is not english you might be required to submit tefl iot or any other uh, english score approval so uh, acadia english requirement are this all right for people for TOEFL and everything but guys don't worry about that because they say if you have studied in english medium of institution for three years the language proficiency requirement may be waived so if you ever studied either your bachelor either your master either your you know whatever in three years in english your english requirement may be waived all right so this is a good news for people from around the globe if you have not studied in english in your previous studies don't worry because they have this english language center where you can take this english for academic purpose eap english for academic purpose program eap so you can register to this university still come to the <laughs> I wanted to say in attested. No, still come to Canada to study to this university. Yes, if you don't even have previous studies in English, so don't worry about that because there is this special program for English for academic purpose program. So, guys, this is the university that I wanted to share with you. Don't worry about anything, guys. Let me tell you something you have to try until you make it. So, this kind of scholarship is really, really hard to get. But you have to be there, apply each every year to see if you can get this opportunity. Let's say you have been applying to get visa in Canada but without success. This is a good time for you to start looking for school in Canada which offer full funded scholarship. So you might not even get full funded scholarship. Let's say if you get even half of scholarship, that's okay because you can even still see sponsor who can give you maybe a uh, twenty thousand bank statement where embassy will be able to believe in you to understand that you will be able to pay that amount of money instead of paying the whole package everything a fees school fees food and everything tell embassy that you will cover everything so and remember a good thing about canada they give you 20 hours to work while you are studying so Canada is a good opportunity guys if you are looking to study abroad good luck in your application share my video with your friends tell them that Acadia University located in Nova Scotia 
closer to state of Maine in the United States, closer to the province Edward Island, also closer to the New Brunswick. They are offering this opportunity for international students. Yes, anywhere you are, guys, this is global opportunity guys share with your friends smash the like button guys to support my channel thank you so much and you do so may god bless you see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye and remember if you have problem like challenges in your application i don't offer any service to give you but i can give you advice for free just you know just to support you you are my fellow friends family on this youtube channel I can give you free advice on my social media platform, reach out to me, uh, comment below if you have any question. I have studied in the United States, I know the international application, uh, I know all the process. Yes, I'm uh, an engineer here in the United States. I do like to share all this opportunity just to encourage young generation out there so that you can get started, start your application. Let's see if you can get this scholarship. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye bye.